who do not support, who don't, you have the right to say, no, I'm not coming out to vote. But please, don't stop others. And for those who are in the system, play by the rule. Go by the game. You would not have a problem with any of the 35 political parties if you do that. We will give you an enabling situation to do your best so that you can elect a leader. Thank you. All right. Ms. Soma, uh, that, that sounds like a very apt message to the residents of Anambra State, as, and as you call them, the Anambrians. But just um, another one here for you. There are they believe to be a lot of vigilante groups in there. Are they also part of your security apparatus? No. Uh, let me thank you for that question. This um, uh, is another message that we need to say it out. You see, the state, they have a law. Uh, they, they have my legislation backing the formation of the vigilante group whereby they can bear arms, arms that are not prohibited. Um, we, they will not, and we will not allow them to be part of the exercise. Reason? Some of them, even though they are registered with the police, they are, some of them are attached to individuals. Just like the Nigerian police and other security agencies who have inform them all personnel attached to individual and companies will be withdrawn. Nobody, no matter how big you are in the state, will come out with an escort or with a vigilante. Vigilante will not follow you, will not bear any arms. Nobody, everyone will come out as an individual. We have enough security for you to go and cast your vote. We will not allow any any organization other than the one that are identified and approved to come out for this. And does this, also, in, does this include the incumbent arms. governor? Arms. Does this include the incumbent governor? Go ahead. So does this include the incumbent governor? No, no. Uh, he has a minute. He can only come out and vote and he goes back to his house. He can't move around. He, he, has, he is entitled to security. That one is normal. It's his right to have so security. So he will come with his own security. He comes out and vote and goes back to the government house and wait. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> yes. So that is it. Um, uh, he, as I said, he's entitled to... Yes. Go ahead, Mr. Musuma, go ahead. Okay, so we all the vigilantes, all other security agencies and everyone and them that are not part of the exercise will not be allowed to show face. They should remain at home, and if they have any reason to come out, they should inform us. If there is any problem, they should inform us. I'm, uh, I'm, we are also going to have stakeholders meeting at the second phase of the stakeholders meeting, which is coming up on Tuesday in Oka, and then the final one where all the uh, uh, gu uh, gubernatorial candidates will come out, will listen to us, will read our riot acts, and then possibly the uh, Inspector General of Police or the DIG operation will be in Oka to address them so that um, I will also talk to them. So these are some of the procedures we have taken, but I assure you will not allow any a quasi security organization to come out and say I'm an escort to that or I'm protecting somebody and he goes to the polling boat with arms. No, we'll not allow that. And it's not allowed by law also. Okay. So it's also we are also saying that your people will not even be armed in the polling unit. Of course, no 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 no. My brother, they can't be armed. Nobody is gonna be armed at the polling unit. Where we have our that is what we call quick rapid response teams. These rapid response teams, they will be stationed far away from the uh, pulling units and pulling boots. They will not be seen visibly at all until when, if there is any eventuality, they respond adequately. Mm -hmm. 
this is how it should work. Okay. And this is how it is going to work. You said that you're going to have a meeting and you're going to read the Riot Act to the political class. Now, have you also read the Riot, Riot Act to your men? Because sometimes we hear mm, that some of your men are complicit in acts that actually compromise the integrity of the elections. The Riot Act, my sister has been read to them. And the final riot act, which they will endorse, will be done two days or three days to the election. Because we believe that every one of them, every, each of the security, including other security agencies, luckily enough, I'm the chairman of all the security agencies in the state, from the military, the DSS, the civil defense, road safety, and we are working hand in hand, and they know the riot act. Anyone that does anything contrary to the laid down rules and regulations, he will have himself to blame. Because we believe in the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, but that the father shall bear the iniquity of the son. You have to fight. You who commit. You will answer for your deeds come any day that such offense is committed. That I assure you. So everybody is quite aware of that. And our men are conversant with that. Mm. I do not, they know, and the officers in the state know that I will never, ever allow any one of them to commit any offense. And if you do, you go in for it and you will answer for it. Okay. That is Definite. Okay. Okay, Mr. Omar, just as we wind down, um, there was that incident that happened in one of the campaigns where some people were allegedly um, killed, about at least two people or thereabout. Is there any update on the investigation? My brother, that is not true. That is not true. I don't know about that. The one I know was there was an incident that involved somebody that uh, was driving a Camry car and he was coming, his car was flagged down and he refused to stop. The police chased him. And there was on the morning in the, uh, in the process, he was shot and killed. So the mob you know, attacked an oncoming vehicle belonging to a bank. The driver escaped and they set that helix on fire. And that was how when a a one guy coming in a trailer from the north, when he saw the crisis, he got afraid and then jumped from that trailer, and then a, an oncoming car crushed him. So there were two dead bodies. People were speculating it was a, a political party. There was nothing like that. Nothing like that. It was not political parties. So we don't have crisis on that in issue of politics. What happened was what I told you, and that's a fact. And even those who are involved in that shooting are policemen and they are under uh, detention and they are undergoing investigation. That is the truth in the uh, situation. And right. It has nothing to do with politics. Right. But people okay. can go into social media and say whatever they want to say. But clarification is made. And I think I spoke to even one of your correspondents who has been a good friend of ours in, uh, in Oka. All of them were there and I addressed the situation and I gave an explanation to that effect. There right. was nothing like political killing or Thank anybody you. being killed as a result of politics. Thank you very much, Mr. Garba Omar, Commissioner of Police Anambra State, even as you go preparing for the elections. We wish you well. Sunrise will be back in a moment. Please don't go away.